Hello there, Wargamers, and welcome to today's episode of Age of Sigmar. Luca and Scari here from MiniWarGaming.com, bringing you Stormcast Eternals up against the Sylvanath in a 2,000-point battle report. And in the vault, paired with this game, we have a lot more Age of Sigmar. Specifically this game, Bone Reapers against Sylvanath in a 2,000-point battle. Check it out by clicking the link down below if you're not a vault member. We play and call it work. Mini War Gaming's Age of Sigmar Battle Report. Today's Stormcast list will be Celestial Warbringers. Haven't tried them out yet. So we're gonna keep going down that road of trying out all the storm hosts. We have a couple of core battalions. We have Hunters of the Heartland in here and a Warlord Battalion. Now, leading this force, we have a Lord Castellant. He is going to be the army's general. He will have Envoy of the Heavens and Drake Scale Armor as his artifact of power. Leading beside him and supporting, we have a Knight and Cantor. Always like this wizard, the Void Scroll, very useful. Now, we do get an extra enhancement, and that is going to be the Arcane Tome, allowing the Knight and Cantor to shoot out a second spell, making it a level 2 wizard. Now, we do have our Holy Command, our unique enhancement for the Stormcast Eternals, will be Final Thunder Strike in this list. And to bring it all together for heroes, we have the Celestine Prime. Have yet to run this model in this new 3rd edition Stormcast Eternal book, so looking forward to that to see how it works. Kind of makes sense with the Celestial Warbringers, narratively maybe. Battalion, or battle line, I should say, we have two reinforced units of Vindictors with a Judicator unit with crossbows. We have Vanguard Hunters, or Raptors, sorry, with long strike crossbows, as well as Annihilators. Now for Hunters of the Heartland, we have the two units of Vindictors and the Annihilators, as well as the Judicators, whereas the Vanguard Raptors and the three characters are gonna be in the Warlord Detachment or Battalion, giving me an extra enhancement and the Strategist trait. Should mention that the Knight and Cantor will know Azraid Halo as their built-in spell. And that there is my list for the Celestial Warbringers. Let's move over to the Sylvaneth to see what Scari's bringing. And here we go. The wood has sprouted. The trees are growing in this arid wasteland of doom. I've decided to bring two battalions, two core battalions. I am bringing a Hunters of the Heartland battalion, very straightforward battalion, with two units of tree revenants and a large unit of spite revenants as well. And then I have two single units. I have the Spirit of Durthu that is running the Greenwood Bladius, and my Tree Lord Ancient, who is the general, uh, running the Winter Leaf general trait, My Heart is Ice, and the Frozen Colonel as the artifact as well. His spell, of course, is Regrowth. And then I am using a Core Battalion Warlord Battalion, where I have Ariel the Everqueen, who is majestically riding atop her Death Beetle, as well as a Branch Wraith with Virgis Harmony, and a Branch Witch with Regrowth as well. It's a very monster-heavy list. In order to fill out the whole list, I did bring a little Glade Worm that's gonna go bite the kneecaps off, and that is 2,000 points on the nose, which means no triumph for me. And my grand strategy is, of course, hold the line, because why not? Let's go take a look at the mission and the table and get this game started. Today, Scar and I play Apex Predators between the Sylvaneth and Stormcast. A very familiar matchup, funny enough, in this battle plan. It uses special rules for controlling objective markers called the Altars of the Beast. There are three objectives evenly spaced out in the middle of the table and two in each table quarter that will be no man's land. None of these are prime, by the way, so one will be removed on the third battle round. Though instead of controlling them normally, a friendly leader unit that finishes a move other than a retreat move within three of any of the objectives, and as long as there's no enemy leader within three of the objective already, we'll gain control of it. Other than that, an attack made with a melee weapon by a friendly unit within three of the objective marker that destroys the other enemy unit that's already controlling it will then immediately gain control of that objective marker. Once you gain control of it, it will remain under your control until that leader leaves the objective or until your opponent wrestles it from their grasp. Victory points will be scored as follows. One if you control at least one objective, another one if you control two, and a third one if you have more than your opponent, and of course two per battle tactic every turn you complete, with three being awarded to either player if they complete their grand strategy. 
Now I should note that both players will be deploying across one another in a search and destroy style deployment where they only get to deploy in one table quarter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here Scary and I are deployed for this game of Apex Predators. I'll go over my deployment a little bit. Uh, Scary decided to deploy over there. I was deployed over here. I had one fewer drops, so I was able to finish dropping first. Vindictors out front, and then Vindictors on the right flank. Knight and Cantor with the Lord Castellant and the Vanguard Raptors, kind of all situated in the middle here. The Vanguard Raptors, uh, ideally, aiming down this objective and then we'll be able to move him down this objective a wee bit if that pops up. And then the Vindictors to try and make a push on that objective. And in reserve, I have the uh, Celestin Prime, my Annihilators, and uh, Judicators. Last time we played, um, you had very good deep strikey mortal wound guys. I did. I still have them, but not as good as they were that last game. Correct. And you can't bring a bunch of models back, Luca. No, I can't do that either. No. That, the banner is not in this game. <laughs> Though a lot of the a lot of the stuff, well, the Vindictors are still here, I guess. And this guy just swapped out for the Lord Imperitant. Uh, kind of a samey list. It's fun. You know what? I we're we're playing our big fun unit monsters. Yeah, we got kind of big great. things in this one. Well, I think I have more than you. You do. I have like. Uh, technically no monsters in my list, though the primes are rather large. I just can't leaf it alone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got Alario, <laughs> Spite Revenants, Branch Witch, uh, Wraith hanging out back there. Tree, uh, 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 tree Revenants? Tree, tree, tree. Yeah, all the tree revenants Tree, back there. tree revenants. And then, <laughs> and then we have <laughs> the Spirit of Durthu as well as the uh, Tree Lord Ancient over there. Yes, and my general. He's my general. Oh, he is the general. And Durthu is Durthu. And, and they're and hiding. <laughs> they are just outside of your potential full range. Fair. Yes. Fair enough. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, I get to dictate who will go first in this game. By one drop. Isn't that fun? By one drop, indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You know, if I let you go first, you have trees to summon and units to summon, so that's kind of risky. Uh, if I go first, I'm not really going to accomplish much other than uh, moving about. I wouldn't mind getting an easy ferocious advance right away. Uh, but... But, but, I think I will go second and let Skari have fun summoning Having trees. Having the double turn is so powerful. It of is. course you're going to make me go yes. second. Yes. <laughs> Which is one of the things I like playing with Sylvaneth, because... A lot of people want to make you go second, so you yeah. can set up like the trees and all the good yeah. stuff, which is really. I, cool. I'm not in love with you setting up the trees and all that, but I'd also <laughs> I'm less in love with you getting a double turn later on. So I'll let you summon your trees and summon your units and have free reign. I'll take it first turn. I will be over here. Scar will be on this side. Two command points because the general's alive. Three for my general will be alive, being alive. We're gonna go ahead and pick uh, heroic actions and all that good stuff. Battle tactic for the turn will be aggressive expansion. Uh, I'm going to pick these two, of course. Makes sense. Yeah. Go for them now. Because again, yeah. we, we can only control with heroes. So if our heroes start dropping... Correct. I need to... And, once, and it's going to be... I feel it's going to be harder for me to take them away from you once you get them. Mm -hmm. Then it will be for you to take them away from me. So I'm going to get that out of the way now, I right. feel, will be a good thing. Uh, inspiring speech on the Tree Lord. I get it. Very and good. He will go ahead and use um, his command ability Spirit for song. Spirit Song. Yeah, Correct. Cool. Yeah. Has plus one to save. Um, plus one to all saves of units within twelve. And then we have Kurnoth Hunters. Which so I should yeah, eventually. Exactly. Yes. I will also attempt a leadership from. We'll say the knight, uh, the uh, the Lord Castellant. He is my uh, no, no, not quite. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and do a silent communion now from the True Lord Ancient. This Correct. is a once per game ability where we summon trees. <laughs> this will be great, uh, very important uh, to counter or uh, counterattack the uh, Vanguard Raptors over here. Uh, definitely need to make sure that they don't uh, just eat me. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my branch wraith is going to summon some dryads. Okay. I didn't give her any. Oh no. Buffs this it'll, time. It'll work perfectly this time then. I, I certainly hope so. It does. Hey, nice. Oh, um, on the first try. I will try and stop that one, I okay. guess. Okay, okay. Uh, we <gasps> do. Sad. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe I don't need to give her any upgrades to make that spell go off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and try and summon a tree. <laughs> right. Um, with, um, actually, no, we'll do a mystic shield. From the branch from witch. From the branch witch. For five, that's a mystic that shield. That goes off on a seven. I I'll be putting it. it on Ariel. Oh, yes. That she probably yeah. has a two-up save now. She now has a two-up. Correct. Nice. He's going to go ahead and try and summon a, another tree. Okay, very good. Yeah, it a does nine. go off on a nine. Absolutely. 
It grows! It grows! A tree! Right there. Essentially, I'm just blocking line of sight <laughs> through this little area here. And then uh, kind of... Potentially, actually. Too, yeah, yeah well, I, we'll see. Maybe I can do it with two and do that. Well, I don't think so. I think that's about... I'm, I'm getting greedy at this point. I'm, I'm very glad to actually see line of sight come up in Age of Sigmar. This is nice. This is why I like playing against the uh, Sylvan F. I'm going to attempt to cast Throne of Vines. It goes off on a nine. Absolutely. It'll give her plus two to cast. Oh, right, right. Because she hasn't moved. <laughs> Good old Laura life. I will then give her a tree song. Ooh. That's uh, definitely good, 13. Yeah, so I'll give her reroll ones to hit and to wound with melee weapons. Okay. Um, she's just going to do an arcane bolt. And she gets it. Yeah, so she has one tucked away, ready Float. when you charge me. Floating around, absolutely. I think that's it for my hero phase. I've got my... Uh, did that, you were able to stop the tree summon, which was excellent. And then from that we move on. Alright, okay. movement. What's the plan here? Well, um, movement's going to be, I'm essentially going to move this up here. Take that, like, hold that objective. Correct. Yeah, and then I'm going to move Ariel over here. And essentially take this objective. And then I'm going to teleport the branch wraith over that here. And take this objective. Works. And then I'm going to move the rest of my uh, models. Okay, we're going to show you, everyone, where everything ends up. The Lariel, moving in that direction. The Witch, coming out of the woods to grab the objective, because it's only three inches for this scenario, so it's not quite as flexible as the usual six. Uh, the Tree Revenants heated the spirit song. Wow, they, they took the spirit paths. They disappeared and reappeared over here. They did the flutes. Because the Branch Wraith uh, had teleported from those woods to these woods. Uh, utilizing this one to block line of sight from this direction, and then they are screening out my Judicators, because otherwise the Judicators would have just popped up here and just annihilated her with shooting. Maybe, maybe. But that, that would have been the goal. That was the potential. Now she is very safe. Yeah. And then we still have, uh, we have the Spite Revenants taking up position in the Sylvaneth Wildwood there, and then these Tree Revenants are just moving up behind the rock, and then there's still a couple more units back here as well. Yep, so I will advance Durthu. Uh, by advance, I mean Ooh, run. Going very fast. <laughs> and the Tree Lord as well. And that's where they split off in a different direction. And the Revenant's just moving about back there just for the sake of moving. They're so, they're so mo mobile, they can get anywhere they want, essentially. Uh, and uh, and we're then gonna, uh, uh, Ariel is going to... Summon a unit? I'm going to summon uh, this unit of Kurnoth Hunters. They got bows! They do. Very nice. They do have bows. And that's the end of the movement phase done. We're yep. on to shooting. Where would you like to be in? Um, I'm not sure, actually. I'm going to use my one command point to give them the blizzard, which changed. Instead of doing mortal wounds to a unit now, I can pick one of my units, unmodified sixes to hit. In shooting, do a mortal wound in addition to damage. All right, and who's the target? So they are going to be firing at, uh, well, not yet. I'm going to be using Ariel first. Ooh. And Sheila, because uh, she has less, she can't see as many. Gotcha. She's going to shoot her... Um, her big, uh, her big spear at you. All right. Uh, they will attempt an all-out defense here against this uh, firepower. And yeah. that'll go from, we'll say the prime does it. So where I'm at two left, Scar is at one. Okay, so Ariel the Ever Queen. Hit. Does hit. Wound. Does wounds. Rend three. Rend two. Two. Okay, so the three yeah. up goes to a five up. Mm -hmm. I, what's the damage on it? It's just six damage. Ooh, okay, well, I'm going to use the Warbringer ability to reroll a save roll. Hey! There you go. That's only once per phase, so I can't do any more rerolls. Okay, with that, the Kurnoth Hunters will fire on you, needing fours to hit with their bows. They do one mortal Ooh, in addition roll, to, yeah, threes to wound, in addition to two saves. At rend one? I believe so. Well, pluses, I can't re-roll any of those, so I fail both of those. Okay, so that's 2d3 plus a mortal. Yeah. That's going to be three, four, five damage. Five damage. Well, 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 that's two dead. I'm going to take out the not prime, and then... You are going to die as well, and we'll put a wound on you. Okay. There well, you with that, that will complete my turn. I will be getting two points for my battle tactic. I will get hold one, hold two, hold more for this turn, giving me a total of five. Absolutely. I don't think I have to do battle shock on them, but I'm going to roll. Anyway, seven? Ooh. They do have seven, so a six would have failed. Okay. Excellent. Well, they pass. That's good. And uh, Skari does get his uh, points. Very I good. I do. That's quite a bit of points. Very good job. Both generals are alive, so both players will go back up to three command points and two command points, respectfully, and then uh, battle tactics. I forgot my little Griffhound that the Lord uh, Castellan gets. I guess I'll put it like where it would have had to go. There's one there. Nothing moved from over there. Okay. 
Uh, battle tactic, I was going to go with Ferocious Advance, but Scurry's maneuvers here make that not crazy ideal. Because I'd like to charge and start fighting. As, well, kind of. Anyways, <laughs> battle tactic. <laughs> this is tough. I'm going to have to take a second to figure this one out. Yeah, the safest one right now, uh, looking at all my battle tactics, seem to be Ferocious Advance anyways, and I'll choose the Vindictors, the Lord Castellant, and the Knight and Cantor. They have to triangulate after their run moves, and if they're all within three inches of one another, I'll complete my battle tactic. It's just, I could get a charge off on the Branch Wraith, or Branch Witch, but then the Lord Castellant will be too far behind, kind of exposed, and none of this great stuff. Now, I will say, no challenge too great. Pick an enemy hero and kill it with a Redeemer unit with a melee attack. Is it the most unlikely. Problem is, this is a 7-inch charge. Even with a reroll, that's not a guaranteed, whereas Ferocious Advance is an easy guaranteed 2 points. So, let's go over the Ferocious Advance here. Though the Gamble is fun. I would like to kill the hero. It's definitely That one's definitely way more valuable if I make my charge, mind you, but might not make that charge. So we're going to go Ferocious Advance, and we are going to attempt Heroic Leadership, I guess, on the Lord Cassellant. Uh, we do not get that. Do you know what you would like to do for an action? Yeah, I do. I'm going to spend uh, an extra command point on Ariel, the Ever Queen. And oh, she, she gets it. Very nice. And uh, we are going to go with uh, the hero phase stuff. The Lord Castellant is going to bathe these Vindictors in that Lantern's Glow, adding plus one to their save rolls. Nice. So it's kind of like a Mystic Shield, but... Yeah, automatic, or do you have automatic, to pray yeah, for it? It's, it's just automatic? Yeah, so we can either awesome. choose an enemy unit and they suffer mortal wounds, or I pick one of my own units and nice. I get a bonus to their save roll. Uh, we are then going to go ahead and cast spells with the Knight Encantor. She can throw two spells now because she's got an Arcane Tome. And we're going to go with some basic stuff here. I think we're going to go Mystic Shield. Fail. And then we're going to try Azrite Halo. Got it with an 8. Okay, I'll attempt to stop it with the, any of my wizards. Nope. nope. So this is the spell that if they make any save rolls of unmodified 6 against range or melee attacks, the attacking unit will suffer a mortal wound. Nice, they bounce it back at it me. They bounce yeah. back, they deflect the shots through whatever means. And uh, we're on to movement now, where we're going to run the... Hmm, do I just automatically make them 6 to get like far up the battlefield? No, we're going to run them. Okay, nice. <laughs> and then we're going to run the Lord Castellant. Hmm, he's just a little bit easier to pull off. Yeah, we got 5, okay. Uh, that's 10 inch move. This is less than 10 right there. We'll put you there. And then we are going to automatically run the Knight and Cantor 6. We're gonna Can't, you, don't, you don't want to I'm not have a it. chance to not, fail? Not even going to risk it. Because <laughs> I'm not going to use many of my command points this turn anyways. Yeah. So we'll go with the Knight and Cantor just on this side. Get some good line of sight protection. Should be within three of them there. Mm -hmm. Just to double check that. She's fine. Yeah, she's good yeah. there. And then uh, that will give some lookout sir. We are going to move the rest of my stuff. The Vanguard... Raptors here are going to probably just move forward a wee bit. We're going to move five inches forward to there. And we are going to move... We're going to run the Vindictors. The second unit. The second unit over here, two inches. Not over committing them, just keeping them back a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, just to pounce over there if needed. Not that, you know, they can do too much, but I want Alariel to... If Alariel chooses to charge them, I want them to have to her to come off the objective. I have to do a couple more measurements for that to be the case, but there's always the redeploy option as well. And uh, that is it for them. Now, reinforcement step. The Celestant Prime has an ability that increases the attacks on Galmaraz, its weapon, if it does not show up in a turn. So I think I'm going to hold off on the Prime this turn to give it five attacks instead of three attacks. And then we are going to have our Judicators and Annihilators show up, methinks, just to apply pressure. Annihilators show up from the heavens. And Blazing Impact is going to occur right now. So every enemy unit within 10 inches, Tree Revenant, Branch Wraith, Branch Witch, and Spite Revenants are going to suffer D3 mortal wounds on a 3-up. Uh, and So they have to be more than 9 away, but every enemy unit within 10 is Correct. affected by this. So we'll start with the Tree Revenants. They're fine. The Branch Wraith yep. will suffer 3 mortal wounds. Oh, ouch. Two remaining wounds left. We'll do the Spite Revenants. They are going to take 3 mortal wounds. They don't like that. Nope, they're not a fan of that. And then the witch will suffer a mortal wound. Okay. Not a bad roll there. I was trying to clean up some of them a little bit. Mostly they're the ones I cared about, but uh, it is what it is. So we're going to have the Judicators show up now. And the Judicators are going to show up over here. We're going to try and clear off this uh, screen over here for now. Mm -hmm. Shoot them down some. And uh, we're, that's where we're at. We're at the shooting phase. But we're going to start with the Vanguard Raptors. I like it. Uh, they are going to... I really want to shoot those stupid... Kernoff Hunters, but the Spirit of Durthu is really susceptible to mortal wounds as well. 
Uh, I'll probably do the bank, uh, the the Kurnoff hunters. If I could kill even one of them or two of them, I'd get lucky here. Uh, would you like to all defense them or no? Uh, what's the rend on you? Two. Uh, yes, I'll lot defense yeah, them. I'll should. take a. I'll do it with them or whatever. Going oh. down to one command point remains. Exactly. And then these guys are gonna all out attack. <laughs> We're both down to one. Mm -hmm. There are two attacks apiece on twos with all out attack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm going to use the Warmonger, Wrathmonger, but the, uh, the Stormhost trait to reroll one of those. Didn't get any sixes. Okay. And then these wound on twos. Random two. But yeah, plus two to your save, so back to your base save. So five wounds. Okay, so I have five four up saves on the Kurnoth Hunters. It's I take six damage. Six damage. So one of them does go one. down. Actually, I'll kill Splinters into non existence. Very good. Uh, that's it for their fire. Uh, and then we'll have the Bolt Storm crossbows. And then one takes a wound. Right. And two, the Tree Revenants. We'll start with the Prime. He's got the uh, fancy bow, crossbow. This is the Thunderbolt crossbow on threes and threes. Two wounds on them at Ren 2. Yeah, they don't have any safe. So that's four, that's two damage, four of them dead. And yep. then we have the remaining shots from the uh, crossbows. I apologize, I can't remember their name, but there's uh, eight shots. And they have a rule that if they hit, it's two hits instead of one. They hit on threes, but there's no rent. So we have a couple misses. We have all of this times two. So let's roll this twice, three two wounds. So that's five when he hits. At rent? No, no rent. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten wounds. Yeah. Okay. You you got. Him. I got him. All right. I'm blew him up with cross. Blah, 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 blah. And uh We're done shooting. The uh, tree revenants are not too happy about that. No, they don't like that. They don't like the crossbows. <laughs> well, an attempt to charge with the annihilators here. Yeah. Uh, what do I need? Nope, not that. But they have a rule called blazing impact. In addition to the mortal wounds, they get to reroll their charge. Just whenever they decide to come in. That's just that one turn. So they're okay. gonna fail their charge, and my turn there is also complete. Fair enough. So, uh, battle tactic. I'm not getting a lot of points this turn because I was not able to wrestle control of the objectives away. But I did some damage. I'm okay with that. I like it. We do get Ferocious Advance. Our battle tactic is complete. We get two whole points. And, uh, and I'm going to spend my last command point. Oh, what are we doing? Just spending it. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Because <laughs> it's the end of the battle, right? I understand. I understand. <laughs> I got concerned. I'm like, what have I forgotten? <laughs> so the score is currently... You didn't... Oh. You haven't forgotten anything. Good. Okay. <laughs> Glorious. But it is five to two for the Sylvaneth. It's yes. A good start for them. Can anyway. the Sylvaneth continue to hold... The initiative in order to make the most of their <laughs> or will they lose a bunch of bottles? Three. Hi yeah. Two. Oh no. Uh, you get to choose. With the build I have, I think I have no choice but to go here. You I have got, to go. No. I, I got that's the prime not, showing up. I'm to... so sad right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's no, fine. don't apologize, Luca. I apologize. You, take it back. You take it. I take it and back. And you I'll do take it. This go <laughs> Sturmcast. And here we are with our current score and command points. I'm going first, so I only get the two. Uh, my battle tactic. Well, we're going to take this opportunity to do a Stormcast specific battle tactic. It's called No Challenge Too Great. If any enemy hero is slain by attacks, melee attacks specifically by a Redeemer unit, which mm -hmm. are the Vindictors, mm -hmm. or the Vindictors, then I will accomplish my battle tactic. This will allow me to do the more generic user ones later on, because this is a good opportunity to try and pull this off, I think. Uh, and then we're going to go heroic... Uh, do I do it this battle round for superior, not superiority, to get that extra command point? I will use the strategist trait now, just in case I forget to do it at the start of Scarry's hero phase, but because mm -hmm. uh, it'll, it'll carry over for that turn. This is going to be the battle round where I'm going to probably use my holy order and all, all that, all that uh, fanciness. This is, this is where things will happen. Yes, this is the. This will be a very impactful turn. This will this will determine how my next turn goes for sure. And that will take me up to three. <clears throat> yep. I believe I'm just going to do heroic leadership on the Lord Castellan though which is not fail. He's not very good at his leadership. Though. I'm going to do heroic <laughs> recovery on that branch, Rich. Right. And I don't know what her... Oh, uh, bravery. Her bravery is... Whoops. I wonder if it's nine. But she's bravery eight. That does uh, fail. Yeah. That, uh, so no, no recovering for her. She's, uh, there's no water here. Oh. So they can't... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, not, be. it's not sustainable. <laughs> Rest of my hero phase things. He might not be good at inspiring speeches, but he is really good at bathing light on his allies. I guess I could just do, I don't want to kill the branch. And we're going to bathe the uh, Vindictors in uh, Holy Light, the Light of Sigmar. I don't have to roll. They get plus one to save. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you were preparing <laughs> was, to roll. Because it seems like an ability you should roll for. It's it one of those. definitely does. Yes. We'll go to Knight and Cantor. We're going to attempt a Mystic Shield. Oh, we failed that. And then we're going to go with Azrite Halo. Oh, we got it with the I will attempt to stop it. You know who's going to stop it? She is. Smart. And you 
Ah, off, so close. Off by a little bit. But so far. Same effect on the Vindictors. Bouncing yep. mortal wounds back on unmodified saves of six. We're then going to go on to the movement phase. Over here, we're going to try and move back a little bit. These Vindictors are probably not going to be in the game, if I'm to be They're just trying to pin her in place, is what right. they're doing inadvertently. Correct. Yeah. And uh, we are going to... We're actually going to run them a little bit. Oh, you know Six. we forgot to roll? Ooh. You're nicely within an inch. Oh, you sense. are correct. At the end of the charge phase. That's a four? You take two. All right, two more wounds on them, then. If anyone's curious, that's uh, the It's a four because that. I have uh, wizards within range of other forests. Yes. Or that forest. All of these forests lash out mortal wounds to enemies within one inch uh, at the end of the charge phase. Correct. Every charge phase. Mm -hmm. That annihilator will go Feel down. the wrath of the forest. It's just some nasty Make root like root. a tree <laughs> and leaf. Leave me alone. So that's where they're going to end up. Not taking the full move, but just running amongst the bones of the dead. The knight and cantor will take a run as well. Nice. Just to go threaten this objective later. Yep, makes sense. I mean, who knows? She might, might not be long for this world, but if she is, there you go. We can threaten that. <laughs> so we do move the annihilators forward. We want to push towards this direction. Would you like to redeploy anything? I will redeploy. Um, I have three command points remaining. Correct. I'm not going to redeploy anything. Okay. Yep. All right, fair. Then uh, we are going to move a few of these units a little bit. Uh, I guess. Yeah, we're going to move both these units. I'll show you where they end up. <laughs> not going to get in range with the adjudicators. I could advance them, but... I guess I might as well. Sure. They take the inch. They'll take it. It's like yeah, three quarters of an inch, but it, it'll do. They, they can't. Uh, they can't shoot at. I don't want to shoot at the branch witch. They cannot see the other targets, nor are they in range of the other targets. Yeah. Being the Kronoth hunters. Uh, and then the end of the because I don't want to move any of that. I just want to charge that. The end of the movement phase. We're going to bring the Celestine Prime on board. And the Celestine Prime's going to go around here. Showing up here, more than nine away from the Branch Witch. You were able to clear my screen, Luca. And then, yeah, get the, the, the clear I should have priority. double screened somehow. I, you, I guess you could have. I, no, I, yeah. I, well, I, yes, okay, I could have. But yeah. I didn't want to, I didn't want to throw away all my tree That's revenants. true, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's too many angles to consider. It's like, uh, but then again, you don't want to throw them away because they could have just cleared. Yeah, you're right, both screens. Anyways, mm -hmm. they're going to show up over there. Shooting phase. We have the, we'll do the Celestin here. It's got a weird, how many, four wounds? Okay, it probably can't hurt it. Uh, it, it can't see it either. Oh no, because it's got no. He has eight, nine wounds. He can't see through my trees. It's uh, you don't you pick a point on the battlefield. Oh, it's the mortal woundy thing. Yes, and he, yeah, he okay. throws a comet down. The comet of mortal wounds. Yes, yes. Uh, but I am gonna have to go see if I have to, a visible point or not. It is twenty four and visible, so we're just gonna go right down here. We're gonna pick this point right here. Yep. And the spirit of Durthu and the spite revenants will be struck by a comet. The spite and it's automatic hits, so D three mortal wounds to the spite revenants. Two. And the spirit of Durthu will suffer one. A little bit of free. You see that little fancy staff over here he summons a comet with. That's Sigmar stuff. And we're going to move on to the Vanguard Raptors here. They're going to all out attack for a command point. Going to go down to two. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to let, let loose bolts at the Kronoth Hunters. And I guys. will all out defense. Makes sense. We're both down to two. Correct. Ba -ba -ba -ba. These dudes just hate each other. They got to kill each other. Two's to hit. And I get one reroll this phase. So I'll use that on one of the ones. And I get any sixes. And these are twos to wound. The wounding on twos is pretty fantastic. The wounding on line. There we go. Sixes don't matter here. It's only on the hit rolls. Five. At minus two. So four ups. Four ups again. Come on, Kurnoth Hunters. Oh, good roll. I only take two. But it does kill, it does kill one. The one. One's oh. still alive. And uh, that's it for shooting. We're going to go on to charging now. Interesting. We are going to go and start charging with the Celestin Prime. And uh, we're going to show you a wild rule here. Because uh, once per player turn... Uh, before rolling any die rolls, if it's a d6 roll or a 2d6 roll, it doesn't matter. Oh, I, it matters for hits, wounds, uh, saves, charges, and runs. I get to dictate what that roll is. I just have to declare a whole number in between 2 and 12 on a 2d6 or a 1 and 6 on a single d6. Uh, I'm going to declare a charge into... Well, I'm just going to declare a charge. I'm going to declare a 12 on my charge. Oh, really? So you're just going to come up and play, are you? I'm just going to... I'm just going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm to play... <laughs> I'm going to use the no dice in this dice game. I love it. And we're going to go... 12. And we're just going to go and scrap. With my very wounded branch witch. Absolutely. She's very sad about this. <laughs> and then we'll move to the Vindictors, who will declare a charge. They're going to go 8. We'll charge like that. Keep it coherent. So we do need a line open for the Lord... Not Relictor. Not the Lord... Uh, Castellan. Because if I can make a charge in there and murder, then I'll get the objective back. Then I'll, I'll lose my battle tactic as well, though. So eh, it doesn't really matter. I just want him up there. Charging. Eight. Oh, he'd make it. But I'm not going to be gaining 
just to more or less get him up there. Because I want to go with the redeemers to try and take out the. Uh, I want to stay an inch away from that terrain as well. No, I can't do that. I have to. Go you have to get there. nice and close to the trees. Yeah. You know what? I'm not even gonna do this charge. Bad idea. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm a bad idea. We're just gonna back it up. There. You don't want to give me free mortal wounds. No, thank you. We'll do the annihilators declaring a charge though. Let's see what they can get. A four. I am gonna command point reroll that with forward to victory. Going down to one. Oh, a nine instead. So I'll go down to one. We're gonna make a questionable charge into the depth of the woods, and uh, we're gonna do impact hits to the spite revenants as they charge in because of their massive bulk. Ooh, and four pluses. Ooh. We, we deal four. four. One lives. <laughs> One spite revenant perseveres. I'm going to now spend a command point um, to blindly shoot you with Durthu. Yes. Burden blast. Burden blast. <laughs> Oh, you go down to one yourself. Shots on fives, because Unleash Hell is a negative one to hit. Commander through for the forest. Yes. Oh, that's a good roll. Four hits. Not bad <laughs> at all. Nice. Threes to wound. Threes to wound from Doo Thu. Three. Three. Rend of one? Rend of one. Rend of one, all right. Well, they have a three plus save with the rend. Okay. Well, they have two up normally. Sorry, three up with the rend. Sad. End of the charge phase, mortal wounds. Okay, so do they take some mortals? No. Oh. Does your big lord guy take some mortals? No. Okay. Oh, the forest is tame today. Hmm. And then that should be it. We're going to go ahead and start fighting. We'll start with the, uh, the redeemers fighting, the vindictors. We're going to try and scrap up against the, um, the branch witch there. Yeah, branch witch. Uh, he, by the way, is going to go ahead and put down um, Oh, he's going to roots. roots. Gotcha, yeah. yeah. So he gets plus one to a save, and he can only pile in one inch. Correct. We'll pile in like so. I don't want to take mortal wounds on Scarius' turn in the woods, so we're going to try to avoid them uh, and mitigate as much damage as possible. They do have two inch reach, though, so they get to fight in two ranks, so these two will not be fighting for the most part. Let's just get you a little bit closer just to make sure that you can get within two. Should still be outside of an inch of the woods there. All right, here we go. We got 17 attacks. I am going to all load attack on them just to use my last command point here. Uh, not a great idea, immediately not a great idea. Ah, I'm not gonna do it, no. I'm not gonna do it, I'll save that command point for next turn. Threes to hit, and I six. only have four wounds remaining. Okay, well we do five mortal wounds on well, six Well, she's to hit. just dead. So we get skewered by the arsenal of the Stormcast Kerblap. Eternals. Dead. And, all right, your pick. Okay. The Branch Witch will attack the Celestine Prime next. Sorry, I meant the Wraith. My Branch uh, Witch will go this way and just Actually, no, she'll go this way. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Hitting on fours. Ooh, I get one extra hit. Okay, Excellent, because nice. of my winter leaf. And fours. Two, nice. rend one. Minus one. Go to a four up, I believe. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and try and finish up some of these attacks with the Annihilators. I was hoping to kill them with impact hits and beat up the Kurnoth Hunter, but that... Uh, absolutely, you were. Alas, <laughs> did not work. <laughs> we'll just pile in and attack. Boom, boom. Ten attacks on threes. And threes. We have three, four wounding hits at render one. So they get plus one, so they have four up. So five ups for that last revenant. Oh, so close. He, dies. he almost lived. <laughs> now, very suspicious things are going to be happening to them in those woods. But yep. very, very close. Very, very close. Mm -hmm. Am I within three of any of these? Yes. Oh, you are? Okay. Them. So I will just move up my one inch to get both of them now within three. Hello. So they can't redeploy. That's true. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, and then. I will finish off this combat phase, this fight phase, with so let my... Me, let me just check, because I'm just checking his, uh, his range. I think it's just oh, one. right, the reach. But uh, his throw, reach is... Throw some hands. Just one, yeah. And Five attacks with Gal Moraz. You are a negative one to hit because you're near woods. Correct. Uh, so we are going to... I'll just reroll one of these, I guess. Because uh, he does get the keyword for the Celestial Warbringer, so he mm -hmm. gets one reroll or... Uh, of hits, wounds, saves, and all that stuff uh, once per phase. I didn't use it this phase yet, so... Three wounding hits. That is a rend of three. I think that'll just kill her. That's nine damage. Ouch. So we do wrestle control of this objective for the Celestin Prime. He will be controlling it. And that is the end of the turn. There's no battle shocks to do for anyone. And uh, yeah, that's actually pretty much it. We do gain our battle tactic because a redeemer unit killed a hero. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a Stormcast Eternal battle tactic. And we wrestle control this objective. No one currently controls that objective. And a Lariel currently controls that objective. Correct. So I get one whole point. And two. So three plus your two earlier, that's five. Tie game right now. To and my five. Exactly. So I'm at a point deficit, but I think I hit pretty hard there. So You did. We're going to hope that can carry us to victory in later turns. Okay, we're on turn two. Equal command points, equal victory points, but this is some wiggle room for 
the, uh, the, uh, for them to get some points. Command trait or command ability? It's going to be Durthu's finest hour Ooh. this time. Oh yeah, well it's going to be the Lord the Celestine and Prime's finest oh, hour. Oh, is it really? Yeah. <laughs> I like Just it. in case. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's my... I, I'm going to spend my uh, Warlord uh, for one extra command point. Correct. This, so I'm going to get... I'm going to burn it right now and get my extra command point. And I'm still at two. He's going to... My Tree Lord Ancient's going to use his trait for plus one saves. Good job, Tree Lord Ancient. Oop. And then that will uh, bubble out bubble from, out the, from the Kurnoth well. Hunter, which is excellent. As for my battle tactic, I'm going to pick um, Get Behind Enemy Lines with ah, two of my units. Easy enough. Yes. I, th I get Definitely. it. Oh, a tree revenants, of course. That's we right. love tree revenants. <laughs> That's the reason why you take them. <laughs> regular My tree lord ancient will attempt to awaken the wildwood. And I don't know mm. if it does. Needs a six. Okay. Needs a six. Doesn't go off. Oh, no. So Ariel, the ever queen, she's going to go ahead and cast uh, Throne of Vines. Right. Good start. For plus, for plus two. She does. Absolutely. Plus two to cast. You, you can have it. You okay. can have it. Then I will cast um, Gladeworm. Ooh, and the spell. Yeah. That's yeah. a five? Does not come out. Aww. And then she'll cast uh, Regrowth. And it goes off on a, a 13. That's one more Kurnoth Hunter, A. Eh? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to avoid it. Avoid so I'm going to use my scroll on this. That's it. We're burning it. Yeah, burning it now. Burning it. Okay. In case you get a double turn, you get a third one back. Correct. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You need to stop them. <laughs> yeah. I don't want you getting all your Kurnoth Hunters back. Okay, fair enough. That's it for my spell casters because you didn't murder them all. Um, but uh, Duthu is just going to move Hello, up a little bit. Durthu. He's ready to scrap. He's ready to we'll do no redeploying. I only no have two such thing, eh? I have two command points and I've got uh, ambitious plans for them, I guess. Yep. Maybe. Uh, then move this. He was just too far for me to teleport him. Oh, I understand. Because he had to be wholly within uh, six inches of the forest well, to redeploy. No problem. So last, I, last, what I should have done last turn is I should have um, used the automatic run. At the double. At the double. So, so he could get in there. Ah, silly beard. <laughs> No redeploy there either? No redeploy there. Okay, either. and you know what? We're going to go ahead and... Buzz, buzz, buzz. Move Ariel. She's going to stay within three here, she just in case she up. fails that charge. Smart. Essentially. Because okay. I'm going to need pretty large charge to sort of oh, like you want fly to over. Any. Okay. You leave my wizard look. <laughs> this is the other reason I used to scroll, because I was afraid the wizard might die. Yeah, yeah. The there's, a, there's a potential. Yeah. She's... You know what? Ariel's no joke. She's actually Definitely pretty not. good. So I'm, I'm excited about her. And then after Laura Aha! Moves, surprise! Both the units of Tree Revenants are going to uh, use... Get my battle tactic. Yeah, get the battle tactic. You use their pipes and appear way over here, more than nine away from my forces and in my territory. Correct. For the uh, aggressive expansion, I believe mm -hmm, it's called. Mm -hmm, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, so, shooting. shooting phase. Uh, let's start with the Tree Lord Ancient, who has Ooh. his little staff tendril. Big stick! Doom tendril staff into your Lord guy. Big stick! Big stick. Energy! Hits! Wounds. Wounds. All right. Uh, rend of one. Yep. That is going to... I'm passing. Three up. Uh, two up right now because it's finest hour. Ah, it is his finest hour. Kunal Hunter is going to shoot into the... Uh, Annihilators. The Annihilators. He hit one tap. Any wounds? That's a wound. Saving. Nice. Okay, that's... That's fine. You don't care. Nope. No damage. I'm just going to shoot your sorcerer with her spear. Do I follow the defense? And I have how many command points? Two? Two. And it's minus one to hit. Correct. So I'll, I'll give her I'll give her plus one to hit with an all out attack. I want to make sure I hit on twos here. I'm gonna all out defense because if this goes through, she's dead. So I'd like okay. to have a hero on this. So one. I go down to one command point as well. As yeah, we're both down to one right now. Okay, perfect. And does she hit? Yes, she does. Does she wound? She yeah. Does. Oh, a glorious uh, two. Huh. Ah, she's okay. She's okay. She has a excellent clutch save there, Luca. I love it. Okay. Verdant blast is gonna go into your lord. Needing fours, uh, plus one uh, wound, yeah, because of his finest tower. Ha! Uh, okay. Excellent. One. Wound. And I save. Uh, minus one, finest tower, has a two up. He's Excellent. okay. Charging! Let's go, Ariel, the Ever Queen. She six. goes six. Mm. Um. Durthu! Oh, heck yeah, we got a ten. I like it. Oh, by the way, we weren't re rolling that because uh, if, if she made it, she'd go for the kill. If not, she wants to keep the points. Uh, I kind of, I'm not sure. I'm kind of curious to see what would happen here if I go for him. That one, that one, I, I think he's got too much plot armor right now. He's got, he can automatically pass a saving throw. You know what I am going to do though? I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go here like this. Hello. There you go. And then I'm within four of him. Perfect. I'm just going to go smack him. <laughs> no. My, my Lord <laughs> Castellan. <laughs> and then the Tree Lord Ancient is going to try and make it in. 
The tree lord will have to reroll that, sadly. And he a five is good. Thank goodness. Yeah, like it needed a five thank to make the goodness. change. Thank goodness. Let's go in. Let's let's get this done here. I like it. Okay. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just start with Durthu. Start of the combat phase. Uh, well, yeah. Start of the combat phase. Oh, start end of the charge phase. Anything that's within an inch of forests. Right. So this forest over here. Nine leaders. Nope. Mm. And your lord. He does. It's he takes three Whee! mortals. Nice. Well, his um, eye of the storm. He's got a four board. He takes two. He's got six wounds left. Good, Good job, Trixie Forests. Oh, and uh, I'm going to see if I stomp you. Oh, yes, four up. Uh, nope. And then I'm going to... I'm going to do... Uh, there's a holy order I have to do over here. Oh, okay. Man oh! Is that when is that at the end of the charge phase? Start of the combat. Phase. I'm still oh, doing. I'm still doing. I have to do monster actions now. Oh, He's yeah. gonna try stomp you to do D3 mortals. Yes, he is not a hundred. On a three. No. Oh, it's a two up action. Is it? A, oh, is it yeah. a two up? Yeah. yeah, that's fine. And then over here, I'm gonna go ahead and. Now these are hunters. They can't. I be can't. Okay, so yeah. there's nothing I can do about that there. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna do the holy order because there's not enough of them within an inch of Durthu. So I'm just gonna go in and. Get closer to the unit in general. He's gonna be able to fight you. Take swings at him. He does have a rerollable save, but uh, if you want to change your mind, dude, nope. his armor. Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and attack with Durthu. Uh, I guess I'll all out defense him. Yeah. What's his save right now? A three up currently, and it's going to go to a two up. Two up. Follow. Okay. Yeah. So it'll be a two up. Durthu is within. So Durthu has three base attacks. He is a vengeance, so he's got two extra. Being near the trees. And yes. his. Scythe gives him plus two when he charges. Ooh, fancy relic. That's right. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I have no command points left. Do you want to like all out I'm attack? I'm going to all out attack yes. to give him plus one to hit because he's right. already got plus one to wounds. We have nothing for command points. And sixes to hit or an additional hit thanks Ooh. to my glade. That's right. We're going big. Oh, a big <laughs> Durthu swing. Hey, I like it. Oh my gosh. Go Durthu, go. Um, so that'll, I think he hits on twos with plus one to hit. I would imagine. That six counts as an additional hit so thanks to my hits. winter leaf. Nice. And I need twos to wound. It's his finest hour. It is his finest hour. One fail. So that would be um, six saves at Ren 2. So he goes to a four up. He's got Drake scale armor, which lets him re-roll saves against two damage or more attacks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So four How plus. many wounds does he have? Uh, six. So if I like okay. fail one of these, he's dead. And he goes kaput. Oh, he's definitely he's taking very 12 dead. dead. Okay. He I like gets it. skewered, thrown around, murdered, annihilated, whatever. Get out! Get off my lawn! He is out of here. And then I'm gonna burn a relic. Yeah, I'm gonna you. I'm gonna burn my um, my artifact of power, the frozen kernel. So um, oh, I it technically should have been at the start, which That's I fine. would use it on him. Yeah. So he basically gets to fight again. Ooh. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Okay. That works. Yeah. So he's just gonna go ahead and fight uh, these guys over here. He's Oop. gonna go back like this and beat up my vindictors. And just beat beat them up. Alrighty. Well, One, well, two, well. Mr. Frozen. Three, Colonel. four. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I. You know what? I've been tr I've been thinking about using a a fun like you know just dirt of going around murdering stuff and let's see what he can do. So twos to hit, sixes explodes. Woo! We got two more hits on two. top of that. Two, excellent. One was a one, so that missed. And then twos to wound, because it's his finest hour. Excellent. Alrighty. So that'd be seven, seven Ren two onto them. Seven Ren two, but they have a currently a two up because uh, they were bathed <clears throat> in holy light. So they go a four up. And that's six times four. Well, 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 <laughs> I am going to lose a lot of them. That's, so that's 24. 24, they're all dead. They <laughs> Hold on, camera on me, camera on me. <laughs> well, 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 what a surprise. Okay, well, the three of them are within an inch of Durthu, so they're going to get their um, final little um, blaze of glory before they die. So that's a total of six dice on... I roll one extra die per model because they have a holy, holy Durthu. That's actually really cool. <laughs> we got one mortal wound on Durthu. Excellent. He goes As down to... they two. all get swept. Yeah. Ouchies. Oh, well, holy I, Durthu! Well, I Ooh. probably should have done my holy order. I would have got a couple more mortal wounds off at least. Uh, but that's okay. That actually doesn't change up too much. That was impressive. I've never seen Durthu do that well before. <laughs> the oh, winter okay. leaf. Oh, winter okay. leaf with the little... Because I had to take the warlord to get the extra, yes. extra relic or the artifact. And uh, it's because it's an immediate fight twice, once per game. He has to be within 18 of the guy that has it, so he put it on him. And then right. it's immediate, so you can't fight with something right, in the middle. Right, because he can't have two He's got the scythe already, Correct. so you need him nearby. Yeah, gotcha. so, okay. so then it burns it, because he's probably going to die. And that's that. 
Well, let's try and get him with Gal Moraz. We have five attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have any command points, so. Right. Twos. We all hit. Twos. Uh, we're going to re roll one of those. Yeah. And we have four wounds that run three. Cool. So I do have. Um, plus one to your save, I do have plus one. You re rolled one. Uh, correction on Gal Moraz attacks. I rolled something like this. It actually hits on threes. So two I mean, you re rolled one. Uh, I re rolled the wound roll. So oh, I'm, you re rolled the wound roll. Yeah, what okay, I'm going to okay, do is okay, I'll re roll okay. one of these. Okay. Still misses, and then these wound on twos. Okay. Ah, so only two. two go through. Minus three, so five. So minus three, so it's five ups on him, and he takes six damage. Six damage. But there, none of them are negated. Right. So he uh, with his command trait, Winterleaf command trait, he bounces them back at you on fives, and you take two mortal wounds back. Word save. I take one. He's got five up. And he's down five to left. six, so he's half. He's he's half wounded. Interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and, and attack with the Colonel Hunter. Just like that, get Trend. myself within Trend within strike range. Yeah, might as well. Annihilators. Okay, so three attacks, uh, three sick because he's the hunter, and four to wound. No rend on these. Okay. Nothing. And That's nothing. I'll fight back with them. I should only be getting two of them attacked because they don't have great reach. Hitting all the trees on the way though, naturally. They only have one inch. Yeah, they only have one mm, inch. Makes sense. These are threes to hit, and I've already used my reroll, and threes to wound. Uh, three wounding hits. I rend one. Okay, so he does have a three up save. Currently has plus two to his save, yeah. Because he had rooted. Oh, that's right. And plus two, so he's actually got a two up save. Yeah, um, whatever, it's whatever his base save so, is, yeah, yeah so, plus one. Yeah, so three ups. He's good. He should be good, because he has yeah. a four up at plus two. Correct. One. Yeah. Yeah. So you are good. He is fine. Close. That's very good. Um, so now my tree lord ancient gets to fight. Come on, old man, let's do this. I shall do the impaling talon. On a six, it does d6 mortals. Ooh, oh, not quite. Not today. It does hit though. Yes. Needs a three to wound because I am damaged. That is a one at rend two. So currently two up, so four up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just does a single damage. And we don't ward it either. Okay. Four and then up. the sweeping blows, I only get three of them. Threes and threes. Ooh. So threes and threes. So that'd be two of them at minus two, one, minus one. Minus one, I pass one and I fail. It's D6 damage. Could take him out here. Four. Four. I could definitely try and take him out. And oh, so close. Holy crap, I did not Woo. expect it. Like so much damage from a Tree Lord Ancient. Good old Tree Lord Ancient. Woo. You okay. can auto pass one though, can't you? Like if you were to, but you have to choose it like before you oh, roll I it, is that right? That. I forgot, yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of messed that one up. That's okay yeah. guys, I'll just take the damage there. I, I should have auto, yeah, Scarry Because right. then you would have rolled, because then, yeah, because then you would have auto pass one, then roll the other one, exactly, just yeah. in case, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh well, he'll, he's, he's still alive, it's all good. Okay, <clears throat> so he's gonna try stomp you on a four up. And the combat phase. He does, one mortal. Okay, well that kills <laughs> this tonight. Hooray, I've been trying to do that for <laughs> <laughs> so long. <laughs> for so long. That will complete the turn. There's no battle shocks. I get my, Tactic for two. Yes, absolutely. I also hold one and hold more. Yes. So I'll get two for that, bring me up to four for that turn. Correct. Mm hmm. So it's actually plus one because I do hold more. So it's five. So I go up to ten Correct. to your five. Yes. But that's the end of battle round two. And now, folks, we roll for the initiative. Will the Lord Celestine. Oh! Yes. Oh, that there could be just with the, the, an I will take outcome. it. An interesting outcome to be sure. Yeah, absolutely. Very After the good. double turn oh, was yeah. a, I think Durthu just was like, he hard -gar 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 -gar. I didn't actually, I didn't prepare for that at all. I had no idea they had uh, access to that. So you I, didn't shoot him once. I was like, I know he's I, gonna hit you hard. I didn't. I, I didn't I, <laughs> had I shot him a little bit, the damage. I, I oof, that's that. I'll never forget the frozen colonel. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. Right, well, here we are, victory points and command points standing in Sylvaneth turn three. Battle I'm gonna, attack. Monsters take over. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to take over that objective. Okay. With, from your Lord Celestine. Very good. Uh, then I will also um, make uh, a heroic regrowth. Recovery. On, okay. re heroic recovery, and I believe it'll be on him. Okay. Okay. And it goes off. Best. So I'll he gains. Two. Two. I'll Ooh. try the exact same thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I pass, and nice. I will gain three. Ooh. Back up to four. Where Half I, wounds back, baby. Where I, where I probably should have stayed at. It was a pretty rough misplay, but we might be okay. We might be okay. Well, let's do some spells. I'm yes. going to go ahead and cast um, Thorn of Vines once again. And it, uh, I believe it doesn't go up. So I will get plus two to casting rolls from her. I wonder if I stop that one. Hopefully the other one's flubbed. No, no, I'm not going to do that because I have other plans. Okay. Uh, let me measure one thing, actually. Yeah, yeah. You can have it. Okay, uh, then she's going to try and get that Glade Worm up and running. 
And it does, oh, thanks to the Throne of Vines. One thing I do want to point out, uh, if anyone's curious, yes, I did forget Holy. I had right Halo on my Vindictors. I don't think I rolled too many sixes on this, uh, for the Spirit of Dirt 3 to take mortal wounds. Just went back to check the footage. They didn't roll any sixes, so we're good. Didn't really mm -hmm. forget about it. It just didn't come up. The Glade Worm is going to show up right there. Hello, um, Worm. Ready to go and bite some kneecaps off, as we have, uh, it, have we have said before. I'm going to go ahead and do a regrowth with my Tree, Tree Lord Ancient. And it does not go off. Interesting. And then and do Verdant Blessings. Let's with, do. Uh, yeah, with that one. Oh, yeah, you got it. It goes off. So I will be bringing back a Kurnoth Hunter. Welcome back. Hooray! And I will be spending one command point to increase my saves. There we go down the line. Correct. Should also point out, tactical error on my part, I don't usually play with ranged units. Probably should have done Unleash Hell with the Vanguard Raptors when Durthu charged my lord. <laughs> Ooh, yikes. Hindsight. Yeah, because he would have been. Yeah, he would have been in range. I'm, not, I'm yeah. obviously not going to go back into that now, but something to remember for next time. If I do run these I guys didn't, again. I thought you'd run out of command points at that point. No, because oh, he, I had to charge were going to. And you used it yeah. for, you used it for uh, all out defense. Right. Correct. Yeah, Correct. I remember yeah. that. Hello, Durthu. Durthu, Durthu, smash. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Durthu, want to kill. <laughs> Alario flying up and over. Big Whoop. beetle energy. Boom. Just going to stay outside of three. Would you like to redeploy anything? Uh, ba, 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 ba. I will redeploy the uh, Knight and Cantor there. Mm -hmm. He thinks I'll go down at two. And she's going to redeploy an extra. She's going to go an extra six inches. Nice. I will go run up into the bones there. Can't can't go underneath them. I have to climb up and over oh, them. Oh, so. this has to move, by the way. Oh, apologies. And, yeah, end of the hero phase, it moves up. Yeah, so I will be moving like so. Does it heal wounds? It does both. Does uh, yeah, it, but I can't be within an inch of them, because okay. they're too far in. But on a three plus, I heal deer through. Because this would be before it moves. D3. So he heals up two. He's up to 11. And the revenants disappear from my table quarter and end up going to. They've done their job. They did. That's They're what gonna they hide do. behind that. They're just gonna hide back there. They now. vacate this quarter. And That's they right. Out of here. Go away. Run away. Okay. We okay. should be on to shooting now. Let's do some shooting. I'm gonna do uh, Ariel. It's gonna shoot into this unit here. Of course. Um, um, give me two command points. Well, I'll defense this. I will all out defense this just to maybe keep some of them alive. Okay. Ah, I don't know. Okay. Nah, I'm not gonna bother. No. Okay. Does she hit? Nope. Oh, okay, good call. <laughs> good call. Nice. Good. Uh, I'm going to do Verdant Blast. I will be shooting at those archers. Same idea. Same idea. Is it fours? Fours. Three hits. And oh. uh, two. A minus one? Uh, Ren two, I think. Ooh, well, From the Verdant both. Blast. It's a Ren one. I do fail one. I pass one. D3. You got a reroll save if you uh, want to use I'm it? I'm going to save it for this. Oh, okay. Actually. That makes sense. Uh, D3 on you. That's one. I, well, that I got one. Kill that. Ooh, yeah, good job. Kill that raptor off. I'm gonna tendril staff you. Oh yeah. Uh, Maybe. I don't know. I missed. <laughs> okay. okay. And that's that. Uh, I've got the two Colonel Hunters shooting into here. My annihilator. So I have the hunter or sergeant hit, and the other guy hit, and threes. One. Move. One at rend one. We're good. They love it. <laughs> Charge the clock. I'll start doing do through. Charging seven. Cool. Oof. Yeah. I'm going to go into him. I'm going to just stay out of, out of line of sight. Oh, no. He can see me. He's large. But is he within nine? That's it. So they are, well, uh, there's no point doing damage to Alario because she just heals 2d6 a turn plus regrowth and everything. Just let her fly around and do whatever she wants. I'm going to, I will overwatch from these guys. Or okay. uh, unleash hell. For unleash time. hell. Go, lads. Go. Uh, we are going to go with the main guy first. Mm -hmm. He hits. He hits once. Yep. And wounds. Very cool. I don't Rent. know what my save is, Rent but two. it's uh, plus oh, two, minus yeah. two. We have, oh yeah, plus oh, no, two. Oh no, not right plus now. two, I have plus, plus one. one. Just plus one. So he takes the damage, whatever uh, He it should is. have a three up normally, right? He has a three up, down to a, yeah. Yeah, but down to a are, two up. You should have plus, oh wait, minus one, you're right. Ah, no, minus it's two. So yeah, so I, I failed one, passed one. Just Never mind, so yeah, Sorry, yeah, sorry yeah. for the confusion there. And then we have the other four. Apparently we've forgotten how to play Age of Sigma today. Absolutely. These ones hit on Fours, do sixes do extra hits? Every hit is two hits. Oh, okay. I'm oh, going nice. to use my uh, Warbringer for this phase to reroll and attack. Okay, so we have uh, that hits. many attacks, that nice. many hits, and these wound on threes. That's cool. With a render of nothing. So we have a two up save, four of them. Four two ups. I do a damage. I All do right. one damage. Still. Cool. cool. Nice. Okay. Okay. And, uh, that's it for that charge. Either charges? Uh, or well, or... I'll roll Ariel. See where she can go. Where does oh, she yeah. Go? Eight. She goes eight. Uh, what's her range? What's her range? What's her reach? 
Uh, she only has one inch reach, so she's you just gonna burn my there. archers. <laughs> Fine. Yep. I see how it is. <laughs> End of the charge phase. Yes. The forest might eat you. Oh yes. Over here first. Okay. Into or your revenant guy. Nope. Into right. your thunders guys. Oh, that's not a flat dice. There you go. There and there. D3 on them. Two. One wound left. And they will plant their feet. Gotcha. Uh, I have. Does she do impact hits when she charges with the uh, beetle? Ah, no. You think she would? Uh, I, I, well, I have two stompy stumps. Durthu and the tree lord. Nope. Sure. Okay. Uh, so I will go ahead and start with Durthu. Uh, do you want to do a monster's rampage? Uh, mm. it's, they are the ones who are. I think they're. One of them is, though. I think they're part of the warlord, so you can do it to them. Okay. So I will. Yeah. I will stompy stomp on them. Do it. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Durthu will, <laughs> Durthu will go ahead. Let's do it. Durthu. I will all defense. Of course. My prime. Of Would course. you like to all I have attack? one out. I have one. Actually, Durthu's going to do a, a mon. Oh, no, you're not a monster. Uh, you could you could roar at him on a three up. Um, yeah, because that's yeah, cause I have one more to do, right? Yes. So, yes. Because I can't monsters duel you. Because you, no you're not a monster. Correct. Okay, yep. so yes, I would roar at you. Okay, never mind. No, so doesn't, I, doesn't I will do all the defense yeah. then. And then, did you want to all out attack? I am going to all out attack. All right, so neither of us have command points again. Cool. Durthu, good luck. Durthu, needing twos with his all out attack. Sixes explode. So, so. One more hit. Yep. And three. And threes, because he's no longer his finest hour. Although that was pretty cool when it did happen. He showed the heck up when he did, right? <laughs> Four of them. So I'm going to roll three of Are them. Are you going to auto pass any? Actually, yeah, let me look at the rules. Before I roll any of them, I'll just. Uh, uh, I'm going to want to save any of these, so I'm going to automatically say that this one saves. Okay. I'll, I'll choose a six. Yeah. And then these are Ren 2, and I have a 2 up. Ren so 2. Four pluses. Yeah. So okay. that'd be six damage. Six damage, and we are a very fancy character. We have a ward save. We still die, though. Damn. Oh, got Damn. you. Yes. Damn. Okay. Well, Four that's, up ward, though. That's that's hard to deal with. Ah, uh, no. I, I, I regret not making the save on the previous turn. I thought it'd be okay. Oh, well, he dies. I'm going to go with the Annihilators, I suppose, into your Kurnoth Hunters. They mm -hmm. are going to have seven attacks because there's a champion there. Uh, oh, I'm a freaking idiot I could have rerolled that failed save. Roll it, reroll it, reroll it. I do. He's still So he comes back. Okay, he, he comes, comes back. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, He's guys. Because you get one reroll, right? I get one reroll yeah, yeah, yeah. and I get an automatic one. Yeah. So these are the Annihilators wounding on threes. Mm -hmm. There's four of them. I'm uh, assuming you might want to hit with him first, no? Uh, no, it's a, I'll, I'll still okay, go, I'll still go with the Annihilator. Okay. I've already got this going. Yep. He should be okay against it. If he dies to him, he dies to him. Okay. Yeah, so we have four saves on them. On and them? One. Okay, so they have a two up, so three ups. Yep. Plus two to their save right now, and then three up. So one goes through for two damage. Okay, he takes two damage. So he does go back with four wounds remaining. Okay, so he does have four. But he's through. used both of his plot armors already. He did, he did. Plot armor one, plot armor two. Okay, let's see if I just impale you. Impaling hey good. Oh. Hit close. Close to the impales. No, nope. and then I do. He's more. He has more wounds than he did last time. He's got four. Yeah. So he, okay. Uh, I think it's only two attacks or three attacks. Three attacks with sweeping blows, but that's an additional hit. Ooh, nice winter. Yeah. Yeah, winter leaf. And twos. Two of them. Two of them. Minus one. I believe so. Three ups. Damn. Still failed. One. Okay. D six damage. Old tree lord. One. Ah, just one. Ward. We ward it. Ah, uh, sad. So he perseveres. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm not attacking with either one of these. I don't care about their attacks. I can't do any damage to her, uh, so I'll let you just attack them. Okay. And then we're gonna go with the prime attacking. Eight, eight wounds left on the ancient, eh? Mm -hmm. And eleven on Durthu. Uh, we'll go for Durthu. Ten on Durthu because he on took Durthu. one from the. That's right. Yeah. I'll still go for Durthu. Same three damage. So these are hitting on threes. I've mm -hmm. already used my reroll this phase. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna go with. Two soon, because that's what a wound's on. Okay, only two. I ran three. Two up to go up to a five up. Durthu loads oh, it. Oh, double six. No damage, all right. Durthu. <laughs> yeah, he's, showing, he's showing the hell up this game. <laughs> uh, we'll What's the, the saves on them? They just have four ups? They're both four ups with two wounds. I'm going to shoot into the big bows. I mean, uh, I'm going to attack the big bows. Okay. So Vanguard. I'm going to start with the Spear of Kern uh, Sorry, the Talon of Dwindling. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, that hits. Uh, that wounds. No Ren, though. Four up. We're good. Cool. Okay, and then the antlers, threes and twos. So that's three of them three at Ren two. Ren two, six ups. Yep. Make uh, one fail. This ten so damage. So ten damage. That was into them, right? Yep. That they're all dead. And do you do mortals back at me again too, uh, or they, do they? Don't only have the that one would. Oh, okay. Uh, equal to his wound characteristic, nothing. All right. Oh, might as well do some attacks with them. They're all gonna get in on their own way. So they're all three attack, uh, one attack each. Threes and fours. Ren one. Bam. 
Two at Ren 1. Two. Nice. One, one goes through. Huzzah. Taken one wound here. One old damage. Yeah. Then the Colonel Hunter. Okay, so the Hunter Sergeant. And, ooh, an extra one. Nice. Nice. And the other guy. Ooh, an extra one as well. <laughs> <laughs> and fours? I think it's on fours, yeah. No rend on these two. Two, two, two ups. Make them. Fine. Okay, and that's it. Uh, stompy stumps. Oh, yes. And the combat. On fours. One more mortal. One more annihilator left. All right. Uh, okay, I think that's that it. That will end it. What was yeah. the... What was your battle attack? Uh, to contest that with the monster, I believe, whatever that one is, the monster next to an objective. Right, dude. I think you have to kill. Do I have it. to? Do I have to take it? To Interesting. So I will get zero points because Ariel went on a killing spree. Yes, yeah, she. Those <laughs> those objectives. Oh wait, I was going second this battle, and I was supposed to take an objective to remove too. Oh uh, yes. Huh. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming. I don't know if you would remove that one. I was gonna remove. Which one? That one. That one. <laughs> Where was she? She was over there. She was here. I think I was gonna remove that one. But it was that one or it was the middle one or that one because I lost him and I have no heroes there. But he can go either way, obviously. But I have the Knight Encantor who can go there. So I'm just going to 50-50. That's the kind of scuffed, but on a four up is that one. Okay, that one's right. going to get removed then. I yeah. feel like you would have taken this one. I think I was going to as well. Just That's instinctively right. with Ariel right there. Yeah. But uh, yeah. But it lets her, it frees her up to go on a murder I don't mind doing too. the 50-50 when, yeah. when was, we forget. So. It was going to be one of those. I just couldn't remember which mm -hmm. one I was going to mm -hmm. do. So we're fighting over these two now, which is not ideal because I got all this crap over here. But we should be able to. Yeah, it should be closer at least. I guess then. yeah, we could probably do something for this too. Anyways, yeah. <clears throat> uh, we no points. Okay, it's interesting. Very, this game is odd. I don't have a whole lot left, but I guess neither do you really. This has been an absolute bloodbath. Yes, an absolutely. absolute. And if you double turn again, like this is gonna be, like <laughs> that's right. Like this is gonna be an interesting game. Oh, my general's dead. I don't get command points. Mm, an point. extra command point. That's true. Yeah. You'll go up a command point? Yep. I think I'm just gonna forgo command points. My battle tactic is going to be, I think, slay the general if I can only do it for one of them. because that It's the one general. I picked. Oh, so okay. the tactic. That is correct. Slay the warlords. I want to kill you. Yes. Uh, but we're gonna attempt a heroic recovery on the prime because Makes I, want, sense. I want help. Ah! Oh no! That's not gonna work. <laughs> His boo! What would you um, like to do? I'm going to. So you went for kill general? Is that what you're trying kill, to do? Yeah, I so will finest hour him for sure. Absolutely. So he's gonna have plus two to his uh, save right now. Yes. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then magic. Gets magic. We are going to. What's the cast on that? A seven. A seven. Ugh. I'm gonna try to unbind it with one of my spells. So it doesn't just bite you. <laughs> yeah. I. <laughs> ha ha! Okay. Go little worm. Mystic shield. We got it. You might as well try to stop it, though. Ariel's going to try to stop it, and she says, sure. You're al it's allowed. <laughs> so, plus one of those. <laughs> uh, we are going to go ahead and go on to the movement phase now. For movement, we're going to uh, we're gonna try to anticipate a double turn here, maybe. Uh, well, we're going we're gonna to move these. You sort of have to plan for a double turn yeah, we're to gonna... make sure that you have a chance to like turn the game around when you get a double turn. Correct, yeah. So, we're kind of in a weird position here. I think what we're going to do is... Yeah, we're just going to move them forward there, five. Then Aiden's charge into Ilario if we want. And then we're going to run them as well. No, sorry, run. Sorry, the Knight and Cantor goes 10. Ending there, we've got to move the worm, though. <laughs> the so worm does have to move. I will be moving the worm this way. Oof. And doing, trying to do a more, uh, on a three plus, I do D3 mortals on him. Who is dead? You got him. Yum! You just <laughs> pull him out of there for me. Actually, I think I get him. Yum, yum. Okay, we'll have to think about him, I guess. Yum. We're going to conclude movement there. We're going to go to shooting phase, where yep. we're going to have the Lord Selison pick the point right between... Ah, uh, going to do some mortals there, eh? D I see. D3 to... I see how this uh, is. Stubbs Durthu, and then the Lord, two to each. Two to each, eh? Durthu's down to eight, and the Tree Lord Ancient goes down to six now, as the Comet strikes. And then these guys are going to fire their Bolt Storm crossbows into Alariel. We'll start with the Prime, hitting on threes. Ooh, they both hit. Nice. Wounding on trees. I will re-roll the wound roll for my uh, my little host. It ran two. It ran two. So it's a three up, goes up to a five up. And that's four damage. Cool. Takes four down. It's uh, taken five so far. This so is the Bolt Storms on threes. Uh, every hit is two hits, though. So we have five hits nice. in addition to these. No ran on these attacks. Just threes yep. to wound. They're like cool little, like, close range shove machine gun. Seven? Like, seven wounds, yep. Three is on the Alarial. She takes three more. Ooh. She's taken eight. She's down to eight. Okay, well, we got her half dead. We're on a charging. The Vindictors, or they need an eight to get in. 
That's a 12. Ooh, very nice. Okay, do well, they do mortals when they charge too? Only when they strike. Okay. Pokes. Right. Okay, so the Vindictors make it in. That's my only charge. Okay. Uh, do you have anything you have to do at the end of the charge phase? Uh, yeah, so does your Celestant get hit by a tree? Nope. There's two of them, though. Uh, it's only, it's any. I believe oh. it's any. I don't think it's oh, for I each it's tree. Just, well, you, I'll read it. I'll read it. You could also stomp on them, too. Or, or make it so, like, I, can't, I, I wouldn't recommend the roar because I have no command well, points. I can do both, but, but yeah, yes. I have no command points. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to. Well, first and foremost, uh, let me see if I can stomp you. Steppy step. Uh, well, actually, end of charge phase first. So I'm going to, you can't have any command points, so that's fine. There, are they Hunters of the Heartlands here? Uh, they both are, yes. They both are, so that doesn't matter there. And I'm just going to try and stomp you to do mortals. Plus. <gasps> not not, dodge it not again. today. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna <laughs> gonna see if I can make you fight lust, and I do finally. Okay. okay. We're one for each. If anybody was wondering why, because they both have the stompy stomp. So yeah, he's not fighting. I would have loved a recovery. That's suspicious. Uh, oh, jeez, I don't freaking have the all the defense either. Uh, we're gonna fight first with the vindictors. I then. will all out defense. Ah, yes. With Ariel. You have no command points yourself, so you just that's go back it. To I'm the, done. Go back to three F then. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. We have. 21 attacks. I like into it. Alario. Hitting on threes, winning on threes, but sixes to hit. Are Poke wounds. the big threes to hit. We do three, three sixes. Three mortal wounds. Okay. That's pretty close to the okay. average there. It's not mm -hmm. bad. Mm -hmm. And then these all miss. And I'm not going to use my reroll here because I want to save that for the Celestin Prime. Yeah. Threes to wound, and these are all going to be, in the end, three plus saves. Nine saves. So three up. Three ups plus three mortals. So three, four, five. She takes six, six damage. Ooh, Ooh, she she survives. She survives. Very if nice. uh, if you know you could kill her here, so that's yeah. gonna be that's I, definitely interesting. I do still have their shots, and if I get a double turn here, she'd probably end up dying. Ah, uh, if you double turn me, she is very much dead. <laughs> uh, she has two wounds remaining. However, I will fight with my tree lord ancient over here. Boom! Because nice. you are compelled to fight him to get your. <laughs> I am. <laughs> to get, so I'm gonna go ahead and go f first. With Wait, but no, because you do, can't fight. Oh yeah, yeah, no, you might. So as well. I might as well fight um, her. Is she's gonna, gonna put everything into that? Yes, Ooh. she wants to try and survive. So the spear is actually four attacks, um, and I hit on three. Does and she get the winter keyword? No. Oh, no, she doesn't no, get no, it? No. Okay. No, no, no. I, she's like her. She's like a general regardless of the general. I'm pretty sure. I don't think she gets the winter. I mean, the exploding six is to hit. Yeah, that's what I mean. I oh, don't okay. think she does. Let me know down below if she does. One at no rend. One at no rend. We are going to pass our save. Cool. And then only one antler. <sighs> oh, he's that hits. Hurt, eh? oh, he gets, I guess he's pretty That good. wounds at rend two. Five damage? Five damage. All right, well, it kills two and a half. We're gonna lose you, you, and you. hurt you. the poor beetle. We'll suffer. What I'm did the beetle ever do to you? I might as well go with them because I cannot choose the Lord Celestin or the Celestin Prime to attack with. Three attacks with them on threes, and four is to wound. One at Ren one. But okay, you you, she won't die right now. All right. She's okay. Still kicking. And now let's see if- Let's do the Tree Lord Ancient. Oh. Impale. Oh, so Hits. close. <laughs> <laughs> I really want wounds though. Okay, Ren yes. two or something good? Uh, it's decent. It'll that's, go through. That's a fail. That's just uh, one damage, though. I'll ward save it. I don't. Okay. It's only one damage. But you you warded it. Oh, I didn't ward. ward. Save. Okay, yeah, yeah. so you didn't use your rerolls, is no. what you're saying. And it is my finest hour, so I get, what, plus one to wound. wound. Okay, so threes to hit. Twos to wound. Only one. Rend one. Fail it. Oh, no. Gonna... It will be d6 damage. I'll reroll it with my Warbringer trait. Okay. We fail oh, it. Oh, d6 damage. Ooh. Come on, three. three. Could kill him. Warding? Oh, I take one. one Two is left, and Durthu gets to attack. Durthu gets to swing. He didn't charge, so he didn't charge, so he just gets three, plus he's wholly within range of a forest. Gotcha. So. <laughs> threes and threes, eh? Yeah, something something along those lines okay. with an extra hit. Because he is Winterleaf. And I don't have any command points extra, so that would be three at I'll, Ren 2. I'll make one of them a 6. Yep, and that then, does make sense. And I will pass the other one. So It'll D D6. do D6, I believe, because he is really wounded now. I'll check, I'll check. Okay, D6 damage from the Spirit. 5. Good job, Durthu. Damn. Got him. Okay, there's no stopping that. Black. And that <laughs> is... Plot armor done. Boom. And that will bring it to... I could probably lose one of them on a 6. No, I don't. Okay. And then priority roll. Okay, because you've got 0 points as well this turn. Exactly. Okay, uh, I get to keep the initiative. I will concede there, though. Yes, that, that makes is sense. Game. Him, the pro I was going to concede on the pr even if I got the priority roll there. I don't have enough to get back in the game for points. For points wise, and the fact that now Ariel basically goes to full. She, she goes, can yeah. she can fall back, shoot, and charge. Yeah, she can fall back, fall back, shoot, charge, and, and then Durthu can, heal... can literally move before she falls back. Right. She can run away to prevent redeploys, and then 
Exactly. And it's, uh, it's, uh, she can heal potentially 3d6 as well. Yeah. Like, guaranteed 2d6 plus a spell on top of it. Oh, what a game, That Luca. was outstanding. What a game. That, that was, was fantastic. outstanding. Well, g great game. Score is going to be rather high for Sylvaneth, and I'm probably going to be stuck at 5. Yeah. And uh, that's that. We'll jump into a post game. Thanks for checking out this battle report, everyone. Don't forget, if you want more Age of Sigmar paired with this game, we have OCR Bone Reapers against the Sylvaneth in a 2,000 point battle. You can check this game out if you're not a Vault member by clicking the link down below and getting yourself a 7 day free trial. You can cancel afterwards. We have a lot of Age of Sigmar content in there and a lot more to come, of course. It's the Vault that helps sustain us here and allows us to continue making the content that you love. Again, thank you for watching. Leave some feedback down below. We'll see you guys next time and enjoy the post game. It's pretty good timing. Like, post like game. That was a very good timing for the game, first of all. Secondly, I did not expect this game to go like it did at all. Same. I thought this was going to be an easy, like, now I don't want to say easy, but like, I, my plan was just to avoid Alario and win on this front over here and let her do whatever she wants over there, but I did not consider the Colonel and just Durthu going in. Just wrecking my line <laughs> hardcore. I was, I've always been thinking about running Durthu in like that capacity where he just yes. goes in and murders some stuff. What a crazy... Yes amount of damage he did. And that got you right back in the game, which was yeah. nice too. Like yeah. that, was, that was good to it see. It was that combined with a double turn. Because I was able to get in and then all of a sudden double turn right. allowed me to really kind of push and yes. take advantage of the fact that you'd left me a big open space right, right. here and I was able to kind of swing in. Swing in there, get the double turn. Got a crazy amount of value out of that. Uh, a few misplays on my end. I probably should have uh, unleashed hell on him with the long strikes. Even if I did a couple damage to him, he would have been fighting at D6 mm -hmm. damage. Well, forced me to use some of my spell slots to exactly. heal him up yep. or keep the glade worm nearby or whatever and and yeah. it, so he wouldn't have been as efficient i should have i should have done that and i shouldn't have bothered uh, all of defensing my lord because if he would have been at d6 damage the save wouldn't have mattered then i could have saved command points for doing more mortal wounds with them when they died and then ideally maybe had him rather crippled and then I, that kind of breaks my heart, but I forgot the reroll on him, the turn he was fighting him initially. The one turn. The one, no, not, uh, sorry, the automatic yeah, save. Yeah, that, sorry, that one, yeah. because you still had multiple saves to take. Yes. So you did fail one, but one right. of them you could have just not made at exactly, all. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So that, that could have been the difference between him living and dying there. Now, the failed heroic recovery, that's whatever, that's just out of my control. We rolled it off camera and it was only one wound anyway, so he still would have died mm -hmm. uh, to the preceding attacks. But other than that, though, it was like, this was a great game. Like the the redeploy, tucking away my knight and cantor, making so Alario can't charge her. That was yep. good. And then Alario almost getting caught over here and dying to the Vindictors with their 12 inch charge. A lot of awesome moments in this game. Yeah, yeah. it was it was really good. Durthu definitely gets a little medal. 100 percent MVP that was without a doubt. Amazing. Oh my gosh. Um, yes. I I did miss even though Alario is really good. I missed Drycha. Drycha oh, yeah. because she has the she has the ability to shoot and put, do some range damage and do mortal wounds at range. Yeah. And so that I feel like I missed her with Winter Leaf with that command ability doing two mortal wounds for every six. I believe it would work. I think that would be kind of cool. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it's um. There's a rule in AOS if if a six to hit does two things, you have to pick which one it does. And even the other one, and the other even one if wins. it's the same thing. Yes, okay. Yes. Cool. Then that wouldn't happen. That's just me in my head. Right. But yeah. uh, you know, it's cool that maybe I could. I know. I like the the hunters are always really, really good. Being yes. able to summon them with aerial is really good. I just couldn't, I couldn't get that one last one down, and it just kept coming back. Yeah. The, anni the annihilators have no hitting power once they're charged. The, the yeah. charge was brutal. Yeah. They like, they showed up and they're like ah annihilator things and blew. I'm glad I was able to screen like my characters from that. Because yes. last time, I think they went into one of my characters and just murdered it. Yes. And I wasn't in the right spot to take the objectives. This game, I planned a lot better to yes. get onto the objectives early with characters, even though you did double turn me and it cost me two of my casters. But I was able to then, I had like a plan yeah. B ready It was for good. That, it, worked, so. it worked out really well. Yeah. This was this was a really highly interactive game of Age of Sigmar. I, 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 also, this guy. The Glade Worm. Amazing. He, he showed up and he started... <laughs> well, the thing I hate about him the most is that he's hard enough to he's hard to get off but once you do you can't dispel him it's seven cast it's tough you it's need tough. an eight and yeah. then and then he just goes around eating things healing and, and healing eating. and so, eating and so doing both at the same time he it's just fantastic. seeks out the nearest combat between our units like oh i'll help you guys out and kill them off and it, we're, we're, like annihilators obviously too upset they don't like more wounds not a lot of defense for him. I, I forgot about the, the the final like when the annihilators little died. Little stumpy stumped. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I forgot about when the annihilators die. They do some more wounds, but that was inconsequential. Like no, that really wouldn't matters. really matter. It was them. mostly just this stuff over here that mattered. Anyway, Durthu, I think I'm gonna be 
making more Durthu builds. Absolutely. Well, Durthu, Durthu is like one of the key factors of the list. And like he used to be a menace back in the day and then kind of fell off a little bit. But when things like that work out, it really shows. Yeah, it's yeah, really and cool. a show. <laughs> well, let's dive on. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Yes. And let us know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy Wargaming.